research objectives. It is easy for us to develop the research objectives for researchers if you know the conceptual framework very clearly. Let me take the same example of our conceptual framework as usual. Uh, diabetes, food and the exercise. Diabetes is the problem of the DV, dependent variable. Food and the exercise are the IVs, independent variables. In this conceptual framework, we have two hypotheses. Number one, food influence blood sugar. Number two, exercise influence blood sugar. And based on this, uh, let me develop the objectives for you. The main objective is to study the factors influence blood sugar. That is your main objective. And the specific objective, meaning I'm going to break the main objectives into pieces specifically. And there are two specific objectives here. Number one, to study the influence of food on the blood sugar, number one. Number two, to study the influence of exercise on the blood sugar. And finally, always you write additional uh, one extra specific objective, which is to make some recommendation to this patient. Uh, because recommendation is the final outcome of this objective, of this research, in fact. So we have to make some recommendations based on the studies uh, that we do. So. In this conceptual framework, let me summarize. We have one main objective, which is to study the factors influencing blood sugar. And the specific objectives, uh, number one is the food influence blood sugar. So based on that, to study the influence of food on the blood sugar. And number two is uh, exercise influence blood sugar. So based on that, uh, to study the influence of exercise on the blood sugar. Finally, to make some recommendations. Let's see how to word your research objectives. Uh, in a research, uh, depending on the research that you want to do, the wording may differ. Let me give you some examples. Uh, to study the influence of food on blood sugar, that's one way of writing it. And if the research is different, then you may use different words like this to formulate, to investigate, to explain, to test, to determine. Uh, to evaluate, to compare, to reflect, to identify, to find out and there are so many other words as well depending on the research you do.